Welcome back to an episode of We Are Again in the Jungle, and we are getting closer and closer and closer to whatever this thingy is. So strange. Temple with a crocodile. It's completely confused. It was full of water, now it's gone. What? No. Oh, poor fish, actually. Poor, poor, poor fish. Wait, what is that? Wow. Some kind of magical wall, uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, that might be the entrance. Okay, so the crocodile's not doing anything. <laughs> it's not attacking us. Uh, it's just completely out of it. Oh, what happened to my water? My good, 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 good water. Hmm. Maybe there's a way to activate it again. No. Oh. Once you defeat the teleporter dude, it's gone. All right. A saltwater crocodile looks around, seemingly disoriented. It spots you. Where the water go? Why does my head hurt so much? Hmm. Well, it was transported from the sea to here through a portal. The shore wasn't far from here, though. The shore, yes. After a rest. The crocodile slumps down and closes its eyes. Ugh. Hmm. The crocodile remains slumped where you left him, still recovering from his ordeal. My head. Ugh. Hmm. Maybe I could. Wait a minute. What happens if we need a swap? Um. If I use that, and I would. Ah, so neither swap is the peaceful uh, option of teleport, it seems. Also the faster option. Uh, maybe we could help the crocodile get to the water. Yeah, only thing we need to do is... Uh, do that. Okay, so it doesn't like getting moved about, and people don't like getting moved about, even if they don't get damaged. Even if hmm, we would uh, help them, uh, in fact, that's a wee bit iffy. All right. All right, so now we got that one done. Mm, time to enter whatever this thing is. Oh, Vrogia's Enclave. Hmm, what do we have here? Everything is full of water. Uh, dead bling, dead bl dead black ring weavers again. Oh, this is just a mouthful. Hubert, birth of the gods. Ooh, I think I read this one before though. Mm, it's an interesting story on how the vassals of the old god actually took over and uh, banished him. Hmm, in the void realm. Okay, that oh, one cannot be interacted with. And... No, wait, this is that. That's the northern section. Uh, yeah. The usual. Ooh, a key. Nice. We got ourselves a key. A key to a door. Always rem... Reminds me, <laughs> a golden key for a golden door. Uh. So now, I can no, I don't want to click on. Oh, that was an accident. Uh oh. That one goes to me. The snapper stay. The soaked book. This book contains an old fable of Vrogir, god of the orcs. And when Vrogir stood against the enemies of the orcs, fit of body and mind, he had but one aim in mind: to crush them into darkness. Yeah, that was not to be the way of it, for Vrogir became enlightened that very night. He received a vision based in light in which he saw that leading his enemies to the light of truth would turn them from foe to friend, strengthening his forces and gladdening the hearts of his people. And lo, did Vrogir wake and follow the path of light, and from then on light did shine on Vrogir and all his sons and daughters. Wow, the first time when... Uh, Orgs actually seem to be the good guy. <laughs> well, or like the, the, the more enlightened kind of guys. Like the elves seem to be the most corrupt. Uh, okay, we don't need that bow. It's a cool one though, but no. That one goes. Birth of the gods. 
In this volume, currently the Chronicler, we count the rise of the seven great gods. On plains where souls held sway, elemental deities arose, these small gods soon fell into competition. So they created mortals to provide them with souls. Over time, these myriad gods merged into one great deity for each of the peoples. These are the seven. Mm. Wait a minute. Over time, these myriad gods merged into one great deity for each of the people. Plains where souls held sway, elemental deities arose. Uh. These small gods soon fell into competition. Okay. Interesting. That's actually a very interesting way to start that. Mm. Because they were actually some vassals before. Hmm. Interesting start. So it could be a half truth in a way. What do we have here? Strange device. More dead black ring. What else we got? Uh, nothing over here. Hmm. What is this thing? I have no idea what any of this means. Hmm. If I understand this correctly, it reads, Walk safely in Vrogir's path. Okay. Now the question is, how do you it looks walk... looks like this place gave the Black Ring a bloody nose. Aww. Best be careful ahead. Okay, it says, uh, walk safely in Rogia's path. Something about enlightenment, it seems. Meaning that as long as we stay in the light, we should be alright. The but there are like three light zones and an awful lot of dead dudes, so... No idea how I would go around that. Hmm. That's definitely a trap. That's a trap. Not only traps, nope. There are also some platforms to stand on. Alright. What about this one? The spirit of a black ring defiler frantically drags something or someone backwards with both hands. He glances around for help as he retreats. Something beneath his heel clicks. Help! Somebody knows the blood! Gows the blood! A spectral arrow suddenly lodges itself between his eyes with a hollow thwack. His face turns slack and confused before he collapses backwards in a heap. Interesting. So there's a fire. I see a trap nearby. Ah, okay. So there are fire traps, and then there's also the click stuff. The spirit of a black ring witch flails and writhes on the floor, engulfed by ghostly flames. An unseen force hauls her backwards, as if to bring her to safety. The faint sound of an arrow being loosed echoes through the hall. Whatever force has been dragging the witch abruptly stops. She goes limp. The flames consume her. Hmm. Interesting. So something pushed her back, or whatever this was. I have to be really careful not to step on any of those platforms. But we know how this goes. Uh, the rest of the team is not that safe. So... Except... Yep, that was the thing. Exactly that was the thing. Careful. I've spotted a trap. Yeah. Uh, I know exactly where the traps are. And it's not that difficult for me to not step into it. Um, but yeah, they did say something about it. And there it is again. So. Said something about following the path of Rogia. The enlightened one. I've spotted a trap. Ah, this is just cheat there. Just two of them. Okay, you don't get that much damage, which is okay. Uh, the best way would be to just go for it. And Careful. I've spotted a trap. Just, just run Careful. for it. I've yeah. Run for it. Hope for decent amounts of like magic resistance, and that's it. So, anything up here, though? Is that really not... No item to pick up? Oh, come on. What a nice little environment. Alright, so... Where does it continue? Usually goes 
up the stairs. Okay, so this is just a side room. Interesting. Oh, another trap. I think we shouldn't have done that. All right. Oh, look at this. Another reliquary with nothing in it. What is this? An ancient looking lever stands before you. It's still damp from the recently receded flood waters. Hmm, take a closer look. There's a small slot in the side of the lever. Oh. Almost like a keyhole. Ah, maybe we should try that one. A deep rumble heralds the wall beyond sliding downwards. A hidden door. Nice. A hidden door to another area, it seems. Could be some kind of shortcut. Uh, let's see. Could be some kind of shortcut. Ah, look at that. An energy chest. Now open. Wait. If there's an energy chest behind there. Oh, boy. Maybe there are more energy chests hidden around. We're just not uh, able to find them because we're not looking at the right locations yet. So, let's see. Is there more around here? No. Oh. Someone made a little camp. <gasps> Something to read. Okay. I have no idea what any of this means. Brogir's culture was so focused on brutality and violence, yet they write so beautifully of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why they are so focused on it. Everybody needs some kind of hobby. <laughs> <laughs> brutality is your hobby. <laughs> uh. Oh, North Priest. The only orc priest so far. Altar of Rogia? Right. Uh, tooth only. Interesting. And another of those floating thingies. Nice. So this is where you get the good stuff. Ah, an orc priest death. What happened here? Found something. Uh -huh. Time to dig things out of the ground. We got ourselves another eternal artifact. And I thought those things were rare. You're just getting littered with those things. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, that's probably another trap over there. Careful. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we are interested in the vases, aren't we? Sure. Uh, there's nothing here. Da, 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 da. Uh, the, uh, the thing is, have I? Yeah, that's empty. I think I looted those fellows before. Right. Now, I pretty much explored everything in here. I'm just kind of curious on... What those spirits are doing, what this altar is all about, and where it leads me then. Before you is the spirit of a priestess, an orc priestess. She's an imposing warrior monk, but grips with terror as she gazes upon something looming over her from across the hall. Hmm. She staggers back a few steps. An echoing roar fills your ears, rushing water. The priestess turns to flee but is suddenly blasted off her feet by an immense, unseen force. Interesting. Um, looking at the... Uh, hmm. Looking at the bodies, they seem to be in fairly decent shape. Not decomposed or anything, so... Uh, it could have been that they died fairly recently, actually. And the reason for their death was maybe because of the water also. But then again, everything in here is a lush green and this had to grow, so it's also kind of weird. Hmm. Kneeling before the altar is the spirit of another orc, a priest. He produces an ornate dagger and slices open the palm of his hand. Around him, the sound of rushing water grows. Hmm. Rogia! I am your servant to my last breath. 
He daubs the altar with his spectral blood and bows. The roar of water intensifies. He is suddenly swept forward. His skull hits the altar with a crunch. Okay, so they did die because of the water. Interesting. The grim drip, drip, drip of flood water and the bloated body at your feet make this place feel more like a defiled tomb than a temple. Nevertheless, you approach the altar. Hmm. Your vision clouds and you open your eyes to a dark glade. Before you lies a bull trapped beneath a fallen tree. It stares at you with malevolent eyes. As you watch, it transforms to a bear, claws digging into the earth as it struggles to dislodge the log. You blink, and it turns again. A gorilla now. It's vaulted back, pushing hard against the wood. Hmm. After a few more minutes' struggle, it slumps to the ground, defeated, and its contemptuous eyes return to you. Strength! Give me your vigor! Uh, do I actually want that? I don't think so. Ask your god to intervene just once. You don't want to be left weakened by some god. Um, accept the god's request. Let it drain of vigor. Oh boy. The god shifts shape again, contorting into a snake. Grimacing, you reach out your hand, and Vrogir sinks his fangs deep into your palm. You feel his curse spreading throughout your body as your strength starts to ebb away. At the same time, the snake grows stronger and starts to pulse with a faint light. You drag your hand back before the very last of your vigor slips away, and you stand hunched over and gasping for breath. The gentle glow within Vrogir grows brighter until you struggle to look at him. The god bursts into yellow flame, searing its way through the log. Vrogir transforms again, standing before you in his true orcish form, before snorting in derision and walking away. The vision slowly fades, and you are back in the temple, the smell of damp death filling your nostrils. You see that a crude sun pictograph has been hacked into the altar's rock. It can be... Nothing. Right, are we permanently cursed now? Let's hope not. Uh, we haven't lost any strength, which is good. The curse only affects dodging and accuracy for now. Hmm. Okay, could we maybe get rid of that? Yes, the blessing does the job perfectly fine, which is nice. So, what about the altar? The altar sits now? before you, defiantly silent. You see the image of a sun crudely carved into the rock. Hmm. The spirit of the priest floats. Nothing there. Okay, so this altar was just about a sun. Very interesting. Let's check the way forward. Hmm. Could it be that it was connected to this entrance for the dying? I don't think so. Let's go die. The armory. Oh boy. How many more levels does this temple actually have? Could be three, could be four, could be five, could be whatever. Let's see. High tier blank skill book. Uh, oh, maybe I've got one. Always have to check every little and cranny for it. It's unbelievable. And that one looks like a trap there. Right there. Once you step yeah. Once you step on it, you're gonna get pierced. Right, ah, what have we got? Uh that is like faint stuff. That goes to me. Oh boy. Um All of those thingies, capacitors and whatnot. This is an eternal, uh, yeah, this is an eternal artifact, that's something different. That goes up here, eternal artifact goes up here. I don't know what this bowl is supposed to do though, but it looks strange. Eternal plate goes in there as well, and let's look at identify that. Parokinetic hydrosophism, nope, no one benefits from any of those points. Let's see. There's another strange mechanism in front of us. Okay, that's just some light. Ooh, Knight of Rogia Boots. Enrages you. Perfect. Strength, two-handed, and bonus in movement speed. 
I think that's actually a good one. Except for the dodging thing. That is definitely not good. Uh, he needs the boots. He cannot use the boots. Because it's strength. So. Yep. about the damage 290 now right uh, unbelievable so what am i going to do with this one uh motivated an allied character with a power of rage and it clears taunted terrified charmed and clear-minded status because you're not clear-minded um guaranteed to land critical hits with basic attacks and weapon skills but we are muted meaning that you cannot cast anything so it's a it's only good if everything that you have is on cooldown. Uh, hey, actually, that is a really good idea. One turn. So yeah, if everything is on cooldown and you're next to an enemy, use basic attacks. The spirit of another orc stands before you, but this one is formidably armored and extraordinarily angry. Dogs, skulking vermin, cowards. Hmm. He hurls the warhammer away with a final yell before turning to you with a deep scowl. Panting for breath that he no longer needs. Godwoken, you're here. Did you kill the black ring runts who defiled Rogir's temple, who flooded this sacred temple rather than test me in battle? Hmm. Say so that you killed them all. Yeah, say so that you dealt with them in your own way. <laughs> yes. A way? Torture? Dismemberment? No matter. Rogir's temple is restored. Those heretics cannot die. This temple was a fortress. My traps made it untouchable, unpassable. That weasel, that sad old man, he responded not with strength, but with soggy cowardice and made me look the fool. Face me, you milk-livered mouse! Hmm. Uh, what came of the orcs? The world grew too civilized for us. No plunder. No glory, nothing to make our hearts quicken. Hmm. My people left you to your cities and farms and soft beds. They went far in search of a place where they could be alive. But I am a knight of Verokia. I stand vigil. I do not know what became of them. Hmm. Interesting. That's a very interesting way of looking at all of that, to be honest. This is just really cool. An honorable orb. Oh. I just hope that there's nothing in here that, yeah, attacks us once we open it. Uh, and there's another one. Oh, some eyeballs. Random loot. But random loot is also good. So, that goes over here, that goes over there, and... That uh, could be interactable, but how do we get there? How do I jump over there? Okay, can't do that. Uh, let's go back this way. Really now? These bloody traps are a real pain. Oh, you got to be kidding me. They are also invisible. Yeah. Holy crap. Okay. Oh, come on. Can't you just... If you get hit by one trap, right? <laughs> Can't you just remember where that thing was? Uh... That would make things so much easier. Okay. So down here... Uh-oh. There's another one. Someone's standing right on it. So... Where do we go? This way. Ooh. Now that is good treasure. Can't reach the rest of this though. But I think that is it now. Yeah. 
That could be all of Rogia's temple. There's nothing else in here. Uh, because usually what happens is that every path that exists is still visible on the map. It's not that something unexpected just pops up also. Pew, 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 bleeding. Ugh. Death. Um, okay, so I got that one. Uh, then came from somewhere in the southern area. Yep, that was it. The spirit of the night. Now, nah. and that one just activates it or deactivates it. That's a, nothing else you can do here. All right, so let's just check what kind of items we got. The giant rock rune that could be somewhat useful. Um, large rock rune, yes. Let's see. Let's manage the runes on this and put the giant rock rune on it. Needy. That one goes to me as well. That one is sellable. And what is this? And of course a dagger, because why not? So it's 284. That's a decent one with a slot. So maybe the dwarf can use it. Um, yep. Could use it. Yep. Wait a minute. Something is weird. The reverse axe now has 170 critical damage it seems that they level with you somehow some other critical damage increase wasn't it always at like 160 or so yeah like this one or well, maybe i just didn't notice anyway this has life steal no cleave okay i need cleave on the dwarf otherwise it's not going to work strength initiative good 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 good, good. i mean the weapon itself is pretty cool it's a divine weapon, isn't it? Yes. So, let's move this to the red prince. And this finesse dagger can backstab. Backstabbing deals critical damage. Yada, yada, yada. Sweet. Yeah, now we can just get out of here. Nothing else to do. Do, 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 do. So, why was this sun icon placed on this altar, though? Wait a minute. Maybe we can figure something out here. The sallow man will tell us how to enter the academy if we bring him Alexander's head. That's the sallow man again in his cabin lair at the base of the mountain. The nameless isle, helping sallow. Mm, to learn the combination, we must gain the favor of all seven gods. Okay, an unknown ritual grants access to the council. We should search the island. Ah! So that could be the light thingy that we have gotten. Uh, to gain this, then that's not it. We must gain the favor of all seven gods. An unknown ritual grants access to the council. Okay. So there is this light thingy right here. It's pointing this way as well, which is weird. Is there no. So this has nothing to do with that. The altar sits before Anything the scholar can The do? altar sits before you. Nah, nothing. Right. The spirit of the priest Nothing about that. The spirit of the priestess twists and flames. Nope. Okay. Nothing changed here. Let's just save before you cross the minefield again. I mean, there could be uh, another way around here that I just don't know yet. Who knows? But I don't think so. I think I pretty much got all of the items that I needed. So wait, where's the way up, by the way? Uh, this way. Hmm, so this is one entrance up, this is one up, and that... I mean, there could be another way around, and I'm just not able to see that because... Of this. Hmm, not quite sure, not quite sure, not quite sure. Alright, let's get out of here. Alrighty, and with this, we actually explored that temple, and there's actually nothing in it, which is 
quite strange. Well, nothing is a bit of an understatement because we already got a decent amount. But next up is, yeah, either we go further south or we continue with the exploration of the elven things. Because we also could, yeah. Hmm, questions upon questions. Do we want to go south or do we want to go east? <laughs> All right. Wait a minute. That is actually... Nope. Nope, we already got that one, didn't we? We already got that one. Oh, wait. Uh, Fane has lost his vision. There we go. By the way. The dwarf smiles at ease despite his imprisonment. Need some chatter to pass the time, friend? Okay. Hmm. Nope, we are not going to consume this guy. I wish I knew. Would love to be in the hall with the rest of my kin. But I'm a man of action, not magic. The spirit keeps glancing back. A difficult task since his shoulders are tense as iron. How can I help? Hmm. Uh, nothing there as well. It could be that they might be some uh, some infinite source deposit or whatnot. But right, uh, I'm going further south and further south and further south. But I would say we should just check on the elves, and then we can explore the uh, rest of the southern part of the map. And down again we go. <laughs> uh, the good old elves. Mostly, most of the time they are our friends, so we should be okay. And then, of course, we need this Santessa stuff. And let's just position ourselves in a way that makes sense. Right. And there are also those seedlings that I want to pick up. Wait a minute. The one just goes... Yeah, that's just a shortcut. That's uh, just a shortcut. Nothing that important. Nice. And from here, we're going to continue in the next episode. To learn, like and subscribe, and ta-ta!